Hey guys, so I have a quick update for you guys. Um, I hope my face is not too shiny because it's really, really hot. Um, just sitting here like, ugh. Anyway, um, so I have a quick updates for you guys because I haven't done that. I've really not been doing too many videos like I used to, um, and I'll explain why. Um, the first thing I want to say is I'm volunteering, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I'm doing a lot of administrative stuff because that's what I want to learn. i um, thinking of going into healthcare field, but with more of an administration kind of thing. So I'm really trying to get the hang of just office work in general and doing paperwork because I think that's what I'm probably going to be end. I might end up doing a lot of. And I just wanted to say, if you're thinking about volunteering, um, just go ahead and do it. It's really fun, um, and for several reasons. One, volunteering is one of those things that allows you to explore or something that you might be interested in. Um, it might not be the exact field, but you kind of get a glimpse into what you might be getting into. Um, like I know there's uh, volunteers that are directly working with patients and there's people like us who are working with more office related stuff. So it just really depends. But I think it really just gives you a chance to really check out whatever you want to do and see if you like it. So that's one thing I would say that volunteering does. Another thing is learning skills. There are certain skills that you might just gain from that and you just never know how useful they may be. I'm learning things as like filling up uh, automatic um, um, staple machine to um, how to fax stuff um, on, you know, big fax machines. Um, I'm learning just how to get organized and be really careful when, you know, working with documents and all that stuff. So I'm really learning and that might be useful in the future. You just never know how useful it might be. Um, another thing I'm doing is also I'm realizing about volunteering that is just learning um, um, prof professionalism. A lot of people might say, yeah, you know how to be professional, but how many people actually don't? Um, people don't know how to like to dress well. They don't know how to, what tone to speak in when you're talking to somebody that's higher than you or people around you. Um, people, you know, how to just to, to, you know, deal with documents. Some people don't even know that and what not to talk about in the office and that type of stuff. Those are the things you can really learn from volunteering and just being a professional individual um, altogether. Those are things you can definitely learn. Another thing is a gap. Like, it would help you explain a gap if you have a gap in your resume and a gap in somewhere. You can really, in your... Um, if you took a break, for example, some people might ask you in a uh, job interview, like, what were you doing that whole time? So this is just a chance for you to explain yourself and say, hey, I was volunteering. So that kind of gets you out of a lot of, you know, explanations and stuff. Um, another thing that I like is volunteering can sometimes lead to a job. And a lot of people go there thinking that you're going to get a job, but that's not it. But it's just luck. Um, sometimes you, you prepare your luck and you just never know who might be seeing you and who you... Another thing that I was going to say is you get contacts that way. You can at least talk to people that know other people that might know another person that has something to do with what you're interested in. So you never know. You do talk to people. I have a big mouth, and I'm definitely going to be using that to my benefit to talk to other people and see what I can get myself into. So those are some of the reasons I've given. There's plenty other more. And another one is just giving back. I mean, how about giving back um, to your community, but in a way that you kind of doing also what you want to do? I think that's really cool about volunteering. I've always wanted to help, and I think this is just my chance to help, and I also want to help Africa in general. So this is you know, it's, it's a start somewhere, but, um, so I really encourage people to go out there and volunteer if you want to. I hope I can encourage somebody watching this video just to, to try it and see how cool it is. I really, I enjoy it. Um, I'm learning that I'm not, paperwork is tedious and can be boring at times. I find myself yawning because I'm like, wow, this is boring. And then some days I have so much fun and I just realized that I'm the type of person who doesn't like to sit a lot. So I'm like, Ooh, if I have to sit a lot in a desk somewhere, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Um, I'd rather be moving around, doing different things um, around than sitting in one place. So that's one thing I'm learning. Another thing that I learned while I'm volunteering is this fragrance-free offices that are coming up. I didn't know some people are bothered by fragrance. I don't like to smell, so I try to spray myself with things, body spray, fragrance, you know, lotion and all that, so I don't smell because I sweat a lot. And um, this office I'm working in, that's something that's an issue, so I cannot wear anything that smells. And it's kind of hard for me. It just really, that's one thing that's kind of like, oh gosh, I, sh I didn't know. Um, so I learned that. Hey, so now if I go to another office, I can say, hey, I guess you guys accept fragrances or not, and kind of thing. Okay, so another thing I'm going to talk about is not such good news, but I'll talk about it anyway. And that's slacking off on exercising and eating better. I kind of, I don't know what happened to me, you guys, but the last few months have just been a lot of family gatherings of family this and friends this. And I also dropped my classes and messed up my schedule completely. So basically I was home most of the time because I'm not working right now. And 
I just ate daily and I didn't do much. Um, and I just got kind of like lazy. So it's just really all bad. And I really don't even know right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm disappointed, but I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I know what I did wrong and I'm going to try to fix it. So one of the ways I'm doing that is I'm volunteering in San Francisco. So I'm going to definitely try to walk most of the time when I get off BART. BART is a public transportation that we have here in California that we use in San Francisco, for example. So I'm going to definitely get off and walk a lot. And I'm doing that so far right now. And when I get home, I'm going to do squats and I'm going to do ab work, workouts. And I hope that can help a little bit. And, you know, I didn't, I haven't weighed myself and I don't think I gained that much. But I think I'm just feeling a little bit, you know, I don't know how to say it. I just feel it, you know, I feel it and I'm like, oh, I need to get back on it. So I'm definitely going to do that. And then um, my boyfriend is thinking about helping me with weight training. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's going to kill me. He's he really will kill me. <sighs> OK, so I'm going to definitely do that. And um, as far as eating, I just if you saw my Instagram, I do post some things that I'm eating that are not the best options, but I'm not proud of myself for them. But hey, temptation arises and you just deal with it and you eat it. But, you know, later on, you deal with it. That's what I told myself. So I'm going to work on it. But I just I can't believe it. I was like, I thought 20 pounds by this year, but I still have time to do it. I think I can do this. I really, really I'm just like, what happened? You know, I can't trace back what I ate. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, the next thing is something um, video uploading. I'm, I can't upload videos as much as I used to because I'm not going to class right now. So I don't really, I don't go a lot of places for me to dress up to show you guys what I'm wearing. So volunteering the days that I do, I will show you what I'm wearing because I can wear pretty much anything. I'll do that for after the days. But other than that, um, if something comes to mind, I'll do a video on it. If something fashion related that I want to talk about or something that's in my heart, there's a video I'm thinking about doing. I might do it. Um, but other than that, I won't just upload just to upload. I've seen some people just upload for the heck of it. And it's just really irritating because the videos are not. Okay, I'm not judging. I'm not the best person to judge. But you guys know what I mean. Just uploading these constantly without really. Ah, I just don't want to deal with that. So that's um, something that I want to tell you guys. So it's not as often, but I will try to. Okay. Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is this sub for something. It drives me crazy. Um, if you tell me, if you guys have your channel and want me to check it out, leave your comments below and I will check it out. I will definitely check it out. I'm that type of person. But if I check it out and something I don't like, I will not subscribe. I'm sorry. I just cannot. I don't do sub for sub. And I really ask anyone out there who's watching, if you don't like something about my channel, please do not subscribe to me because I feel like the true supporters out there are there. And if they really want to support you and they enjoy you and they like you, I like those kind of people. I don't want you to subscribe to me because you feel like you have to. Even if I subscribe to you, you don't have to. The self sub thing, I'm not, I'm not into it. I just really want people to subscribe to me because they want to watch me. I don't want people to subscribe because they feel like, oh, well, she did it, so now I got to do it for her kind of thing. I don't want that. I really want people that are supportive. I actually went through spring cleaning of deleting people that I subscribe to that I don't even watch and people that subscribe to me that don't watch me. I actually had to took the time to, to delete some people because I'm really not about numbers. I'm more about people watching me and really actually caring about the videos I'm putting out. I don't do the numbers thing. As you can see, my numbers are moving slow. Um, so yeah, I, please, you know, if you want me to check it out, I'll check it out. And if I like it, I'll subscribe. If I don't, I really won't. I just can't get myself to do that. What's the point of subscribing to somebody for numbers and not watching them? I can't do, deal with that. Um, so, yeah, if you have something interesting that's worth watching, I will check you out and really let me know below. Um, and I just, I think, and I went to Instagram too, and people that are following me and then they never like even one pic. I never understand that because why are you following me then? This is all pictures. Um, I never understand that either. So I'm basically... Also, deleting as I go, I delete and block. I can't deal with that stuff. So if you add me on Instagram and you are out there to whatever you're doing around, I don't know. I'm going to delete you. I can't deal with it. It's too much stuff going on. Um, so, yeah, those are the things I wanted to update you guys on. And uh, my hair, I think I'm going to do a review on it because people have been asking me that it still looks good and people want to know what hair I'm wearing. So I will definitely try to do that and figure out what the name was. I can't figure out, but this hair has lasted so long. I can't believe it. I mean, you still can go through it. Um, I've been wearing this U part wig for so long. Anybody wants to know. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And...